वेलकम डियर ट्रैवलर्स टू भारत की बातें अ जर्नी बियॉन्ड द कन्फाइंस ऑफ स्पेस एंड मैटर आई एम समय योर एटर्नल कंपेनियन द विस्पर ऑफ टेल्स वोवन इन द फैब्रिक ऑफ टाइम थ्रू द कॉरिडोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री वी शेल एन ट्रैवल द टैपिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया अडॉन विद द ह्यूज ऑफ कॉन्क्वेस्ट एंड लिबरेशन एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड विद द थ्रेड्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशन एंड इनोवेशन From the echoes of Vedic chants to the roar of modern progress, India's story is a melody that reverberates across time and space. In this series, we delve into the triumphs and fortunate happenings of India's past and present, and do not shy away from the disasters and adversities that have shaped and continue to shape our nation. But remember fellow travelers for time waits for none so come along as we embark on this timeless adventure where every conversation is a celebration of our beloved nation let's cherish the journey one story at a time in present times many political parties are vocally accusing the current indian government of altering the indian constitution and damaging its very essence However it is crucial to understand that the Indian constitution is a living document it is not fundamentally changed but rather undergoes additions and subtractions of laws and rules to fit the current situations and needs of the country all for the benefit of the nation but did you know that in the past where there were actual compromises made with the Indian constitution that led to many unwanted situations and caused significant unrest in the country let's take a closer look at the historical instances and explore how they shaped the trajectory of india's democratic journey let's start with the first amendment of 1951 nehru's government introduced this amendment placing restrictions on freedom of speech and expression this move was seen as a way to protect public order and national integrity but it also raised concerns about curbing dissent nehru even stated it is impossible to hang up urgent social changes because of the constitution coming in the way we shall have to find a remedy even though this might involve a change in the constitution can you imagine the howd cry if such a change were proposed today freedom of press was also tested with the press objectionable matters act of 1951 which allowed the government to control what could be published this act was intended to maintain order but was seen by many as a way to suppress critical voices the struggle between press freedom and government control continues even today Another significant event was the dismissal of the Kerala government in 1959. This was the first use of Article 356 to dissolve a state government. The central government cited law and order issues, but many saw it as an attempt to strifle a communist-led government. Such actions remind us of the delicate balance of power between the center and the states. The State Reorganization Act of 1956 aimed to redraw state boundaries based on linguistic lines. Under Jawaharlal Nehru's government, it was recommended that the entire country of India be divided into 16 states and 3 central administrative states. However, the government decided to divide the country into 14 states and 6 union territories after non-agreement to the proposal. While it addressed regional demands, it also caused significant unrest in some areas. The strongest reaction against the State Reorganization Act came from Maharashtra, where widespread rioting broke out and 80 people were killed in Bombay city in police firings in January 1956. How do we ensure that changes meant for the nation's good don't overlook local aspirations? Tensions between the judiciary and the executive were evident during Nehru's tenure. The government often passed amendments to override judicial decisions, especially concerning land reforms. These actions raised important questions about judicial independence and executive overreach. With these instances, we understand that several decisions and actions thought to be in public's favor effectively compromised the constitution. The first amendment of 1951, the dismissal of the Kerala government in 1959, and the State Reorganization Act. all challenged to constitutional principles under the guise of benefiting the nation these instances led to significant unrest and debate about the true intent behind such measures fast forward to the present day the opposition parties claim they have always protected the indian constitution and accused the ruling government of undermining it However, history reveals that these opposition parties themselves enacted measures that compromised the constitution in the name of public welfare. Ultimately, no government is fully for the people if we talk realistically. 
as their ultimate goal is often to remain in power. Whenever a new party comes to power and the old one loses, it is always the people who have to bear the brunt. The new ruling party tends to change or implement laws they opposed when in opposition, disrupting citizens who have adjusted to the previous laws. Additionally, the credibility of these new laws is often uncertain, raising questions about their impact on the public. Therefore, we should not be swayed solely by the present day politics. Instead, we must study similar instances from both the past and the present to understand what is happening with our liberties and rights. This critical examination helps us stay informed and vigilant about the true state of our constitutional protections. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.